Hi everyone, today my uh, paper is on CT finding in a case of major doses. Uh, this is a case report. I am Dr. Sarves, a junior resident from the Department of Radio Diagnosis from Arupadi Vidu Medical College, Puducherry. I did it under the guidance of Dr. Nirpish, the HOD and professor of my department. So myelidosis is a uh, Myelidosis is caused by Burkholdria pseudomonale. It affects multiple organs and mostly affected organ is the lung and it is followed by the spleen. It has a radiological uh, features which is a uh, mimic of TB and is being commonly misdiagnosed as TB in India. In patients with septicemia or fever of unknown etiology, high suspicion is required for the diagnosis. Uh, we could present a pictorial review of the radiological manifestation in a patient presenting with multivisceral abscess, which will help the radiologist to arrive for an early diagnosis. Uh, so a 46 year old male patient who came with a complaints of uh, abdomen pain and five days of fever. Uh, the patient had a history of alcoholic liver disease and chronic calcific pancreatitis. The patient was known uh, type two diabetes and was insulin for 14 years with poor control of diabetes. The patient was evaluated for dengue, typhus, malaria, and the results were negative. Uh, there were no history of uh, TB or uh, any history of contact with the TB patients for the patient. So the lab uh, investigation with the uh, total count of 6,700 and the neutrophils with 86% and uh, lymphocytes with 13 and ESR uh, 90 and uh, serum bilirubin was 3.5. The HP was 10 and uh, STPT, SUOT, and uh, ALP, or oh, everything was raised in this patient. So <clears throat> we took a chest x ray in which the uh, chest x ray PAV, which showed two ill defined homogeneous rounded opacity in the left uh, lower zone. There were no evidence of pleural effusion and there was no mediastinal widening and hilar opacity, which, uh, which are not seen in this patient. And then uh, the patient had undergone for an USG and in USG uh, and Doppler evaluation, which showed a multiple hypoechoic lesion in both lobes of the liver, which, uh, which was uh, less than one centimeter in diameter. Uh, there was a splenomegaly with the multiple hypoechoic lesions. Uh, further, the prostate was enlarged with heterogeneous parenchyma and showed multiple hy hypoechoic uh, to anarchic areas within uh, which was uh, suggesting an evolving abscess. The lesion did not show any color uptake on a color Doppler. And we were just suspecting for tuberculosis and melodosis. Um, then uh, the patient was taken up for an CECT, in which the CECT, the liver showed multiple solitary and multilocated peripherally enhanced fluid density lesions in both lobes in which the uh, largest in the uh, segment 7, which was measuring uh, of 25 into 21 mm. Uh, the few lesions were noted in the subcapsular location with extension to perihepatic lesion. The lesion showed calcific or financing internal septation, which uh, were presented as a cartwheel or honeycomb pattern, which you could see in these images. And this, uh, we had a multiple hypodensity in the spleen with uh, many doses and there was a splenic abscess. Uh, we could see the spleen is uh, mildly to moderately enlarged in size and few hypodense uh, lesions are seen in the gastrosplenic space. And in this, uh, we could see in multiple multilocated enhancing hypodense lesion are found noted in both the kidneys with few of them were having pericapsular extension, which we could make it up clearly in this image. And then uh, for the, we took an axial and coronal and sagittal segment of CECT of abdomen, which uh, shows multiple ill-defined peripherally enhancing collection in the prostate. And the uh, prostate was enlarged in size and showed multiple people multilocated peripherally enhancing hypodense lesions. 
so in the blood culture which showed this uh, burkhold riasodo monali and so they treated with uh, iv antibiotics with uh, cefazimide and quatrimaxazole for two weeks and then followed up uh, with an eradication therapy with quatrimaxazole for six months which was advised so the discussion is the melidosis is an endemic to the northern australia and asia the annual incidence of melidosis is uh, 12.7 in 100,000 in tropical countries and the patient at risk are those who are exposed to wet soil and patient with diabetes, chronic liver disease and other immunocompromised conditions. Because of the similarity in clinical and radiological manifestation, it is usually mistaken for other infections like TB. Pneumonia is one of the most common clinical presentation. Uh, lung is the most involved organ in uh, radiological fusures or small nodular densities, which uh, predominantly involves the upper lobe. Diagnosis, uh, uh, it is uh, sparing the lung apex and, present, uh, and uh, presenting with a concurrent liver and splenic abscess, which helps in the diagnosis of melidosis from tuberculosis. Now, mediastinal lymphadenopathy and pleural effusion are usually seen in tuberculosis and not in melidosis, and this helps in differentiating it from tuberculosis. Burkholdia pseudomonali is the most common causative agent found in the patient with spleen, liver abscess, and confirming the organism in blood culture is a definitive diagnosis. So, these are my references. <clears throat> Thank you.